What's up resellers? I'm Rebecca and you're watching Rebecca the Reseller. Thanks for joining me today. I haven't done one of these videos in a while. It's a Poshmark Boutique unboxing. So I have a Poshmark Boutique. It is mixed in with my thrifted items in my Poshmark closet. I love selling both thrifted items and boutique items. And so from time to time, when I have a new shipment come in, I like to share with you what I bought, give you some tips and tricks as I think of them about having a Poshmark boutique. And if you want to know more, I have a Poshmark boutique course, which is linked down in the description. And it's pretty awesome because that's how I've been able to kind of scale up and free up some time by having multiple quantity listings that you can sell again and again. It's pretty fun shopping for new items. It's pretty fun picking out what things you want to add to your boutique. There's a lot of nitty gritty, really good information in the course about why I order certain things, how I order them, when I order them, ordering strategies. I give all of my vendor list. I go through sample orders. It's really about focusing on being profitable. And so I hope you will check it out if that's something that you're interested in, but it is a really fun way to kind of add some extra profit and sales to your Poshmark closet without having to do all of the normal reseller grind. So let's get into it. This, I've been waiting on this order forever, but I do order from overseas and it was recently in February, Chinese New Year. And so they basically shut down for however long that celebration is. And so orders don't go out. So if you have watched any of the previous what sold videos that I've done lately, I know the lighting is not so great on my face, but it is what it is. Um, uh, my what sold videos lately, I have been sharing that I've been selling a lot of hats. So I've been slowly restocking the particular hats that have been selling, and then I'll slowly add in some more new SKUs of hats and try them out and see how they do. So that's what this giant bundle is. This is a new skew of hat, and it's just the same type of like fisherman hat or bucket hat um, that seems to be on trend and in style right now. And this is a really pretty floral pattern. So I've done plain ones and I've done animal print. So I'm gonna try out a floral print and see how this does. Then I sold out completely of all of my white. These are great for trips and for the beach and for like all of that. So. I sold out completely of the white, so I restocked the white. I think I only have one left of the black, so I got more black. And then I, on the last order, I had restocked significantly the animal print ones, which is a reversible one, which is nice. So now I can add, this is gonna rip. Now I can add the floral one to the mix and see how that goes. Now I ordered several restocks on some swimsuits. So that's all of these here. I love selling. I love selling boutique swim items. I find that it's a category that people are willing to purchase boutique items. So I have a brown, a black, and like a brick red or like a wine color, I guess you could say. I'll have to look at this because this looks to compare this to the other one but I'll just show you so it's a two-piece and it's like strappy in the back and then it's a high-waisted which is obviously the style right now high-waisted bikini bottom and I sell them as sets. I don't sell them separately. People do ask, but I'm not doing it. <laughs> so these are all restocks of black, brown. I get them in, these are medium, large, and extra large are the sizes that I focus on. I don't think I got any small in the swimsuit. Here's some jewelry items. So these are, Going along the boho trend, um, they're kind of like a brushed silver with cracked turquoise or crackled, and it's just like a teardrop, kind of like upside down heart shape, and I forget what these are, French wire, so the hook, 
earrings. I'm learning about jewelry. I'm not a big jewelry person, but I have been pretty successful. So this is a restock. I ordered a small run. They sold out, so I'm restocking them. This, I've had really good luck with multi-strand layered necklaces. So these are some additional, they do a lot of packaging. Like there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of plastic going on here. So it's like a thicker strand and then a thinner strand. I think it's just a two, it's a two strand. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, it's either two or three strand. So layered is the key word on that. And those have done well. That's a re restock. These, oddly enough, I just thought they were so interesting. So they're poster stud earrings, but it's basically a zipper. Like it's a zipper earring. And I sold through the small run that I had. So I ordered some more. Plus, I do have some strategies about order management, shipping management, um, being mindful of your cost per item. I share all of that in the course, and so I'm not going to get into all of that here to protect the integrity of the course. But there's a lot of reasons why I order the way I do and how that affects my profitability. These are, this is probably my third time now restocking these. It's a pearl and link chain like um, it goes around and then it has a hanging and that has just done really well. I think it has a nice photo from the manufacturer that I use in my boutique listing and it's just done really well. Why can't I lift this up? <laughs> so this is a bundle. So these are lace boho sheer bathing suit cover-ups and as much as I like doing swim, I almost like doing cover-ups more than swim because a lot of times cover-ups can be one size and so then they have a broader appeal, can sell to more people because they're only one size. And like swimsuits where you have to order all the different sizes, perhaps there's like a fly in here. So I have them in white, I have them in black. I think this is my third restock of them. And I just, I didn't want to spend a lot on this run because I have been really building up my thrifted inventory, but it's gonna be swim season. And so I didn't want them to run out. I wanted to make sure that I had these. The thing that you'll find, and that I talk about all the time, I'll try to show one. The thing that I will tell you about boutique is that my knee is hurting, is that when you order something and you add something as a new SKU, you've now gone through it. You've done the work. You've done the research. You've got your stock photos. You've created your listing and your listing template. And I show all of this, you know, how to do all of this in the course. But once you've done that work, there's no additional work involved except for ordering more and shipping it out when it sells. So for me, I could keep adding to this listing for as long as they have this available, keep ordering it, keep adding it to the listing I already have and keep selling it and just basically making profit and profit and profit without any additional work. So it's really attractive once you find something, sorry, once you find something that has sold to just keep restocking it because you don't have to do any more work on that listing to keep generating more profit. Let me see if I can get... They've never bundled these up like this before. That must be a new strategy. So let me just show you one so you can see what it is. I hate opening them because then I have to fold them and put them back in, but it's just so pretty. And the photos that they have look really nice. So it has the drawstring. It's like boho, lace, embroidered, you know, sheer. It's a short one, like it's not a really long one, but some people just want it to cover just enough spot, and so it's really pretty. So I have it in white and I have it in black, and I like it. There's a lot of these kind of things out there, so you want to try to do what you can to, you know, share it, have a good price, and you know, make your profit while you can. The last thing over here is another multi-strand necklace that I've restocked several times. This order mainly was a restock order. I think the only thing that was new was this hat. I've been trying not to add a lot of new SKUs because I've really been focusing on the thrifted side. Once I get the thrifted side back up and running, cross-posted to all of the platforms and like when I'm really fully set up again, that is when I'll start ordering a lot more new SKUs and build the boutique back up. But 
I was in a space issue. So this has several charms at the bottom that kind of make it like there's a cross, there's an Egyptian head, there's like a coin, you know, it's just kind of like an interesting gypsy boho vibe and multi-strand gold necklace. So these have done really well and I wanted to restock those because you do run the risk of then you can't get it anymore. <laughs> so we always have to like, I, I'm, I'm a cautious orderer, but when I find something that has a little bit of success, then I dive in full force and order a bunch so that I have it and can let that listing run through, keep getting the profit before they sell out of it at the vendor. If that's something that is, you know, depending on the vendor you use, you know, if that's a problem, which in, in this particular one, it's not all the time, but every once in a while it happens. So that's everything that I have. This was a pretty big order. Usually I share like the pricing and everything, but honestly, I wanted to record the video. This order has been sitting here and I haven't had time to film the video. So I do apologize that I don't have all of the pricing on this, but go back and watch some of the other uh, boutique unboxings that I have if you are curious about some of the pricing because I do share it in most of them. But today I apologize, I am unprepared. However, I wanted to get this out there for you because it's been a while since I did one. I wanted to share with you information about the Poshmark Boutique course because we are getting into summer now. People say that there's a summer slowdown, that kind of thing. And I will tell you, I purposefully stock my thrifted and boutique items so that I'm ready to sell for any season. And so if you have lots of sweaters, but then also have a lot of swim cover-ups, now you're ready for both sides of the aisle, both sides of the, you know, both seasons. And so I really try to stock up on things that are going to help get me through each season and not lose out on sales. And so I would definitely encourage you to be mindful of that. If you don't have your swim listed, you need to be getting it listed. It's spring break. We've already passed February break. It's almost swimsuit season for the summer. So you got to think like a store. <laughs> if you want to run an online store, you kind of have to think like a store. So I hope you guys are doing well, whether you sell boutique items or you sell thrifted items or you sell both like me. I wish you all the best of sales. If you ever have questions about the Poshmark Boutique course, drop them in the comments below. I would love to answer them for you. I've had, I think I'm just shy of 100 students going through it now. It's been awesome. And, you know, people share with me, you know, how it's going for them. So I really... I think boutique, if you do it right and are very deliberate and don't get caught up in all kinds of things that would make you not profitable, you can really do it right. I've made tens of thousands of dollars with my Poshmark boutique, so I hope that you will give it a consideration. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!